President Biden is pushing for Congress to pass stricter gun laws following the two recent mass shootings in Colorado and Georgia that left 18 people dead in a week. The Senate should immediately pass, let me say it again, the United States Senate, I hope some are listening, should immediately pass the two House pass bills that close loopholes in the background check system. Vice President Kamala Harris joins us now for an exclusive interview from Washington, D.C. Madam Vice President, good morning to you. We're, we're very glad to see you this morning. There is so much to discuss, so we'll get started. Listen, okay. it's clear that the president's intention and his frustration are very clear. But the reality is you guys just don't have the votes. So what's your move? Well, on the issue of gun violence, let's just be very clear. Um, we are seeing tragedy after tragedy after tragedy. Um, the, the, we've, we are now learning the names of the 10 people in Colorado, including that, that, that police officer who, was, who ran into fire in terms of gunfire, um, a father of seven children. We are looking at, in Atlanta, um, and, and all of those folks who, all of them, at the grocery store, um, in these establishments, going about their lives. I know the and personal gun stories and are slaughter. heartbreaking. The, the personal stories But, but Gail, handle. here's why I mention it. Here's yes. why I mention it. Yes. Because I'm going to tell you something. I've been working on this for a long time. I actually thought that Sandy Hook would have been mm -hmm. the thing did. that moved Congress. How you when 26 and 7 year old babies were slaughtered and they did not act and they did not act. It is time for Congress to act and stop with the false choices. This is not about getting rid of the Second Amendment. It's simply about saying we need reasonable gun safety laws. There is no reason why we have assault weapons on the streets of a civil society. They are weapons of war. They are designed to kill a lot of people quickly. Yeah, we all let we us all agree, agree that we yes. need background checks. But the point here is Congress needs to act. And, and on the House side, they did. There are two yeah. bills which the president is prepared to sign. And so we need the Senate to act. And this is going to be about your viewers and all of us pleading um, to, to the reason, pleading to the hearts and minds of the people in the United States Senate to say enough with the partisanship, enough with the ideological perspective on this. Let's just be practical and agree. People who have been found to be a danger to themselves and others should not be able to purchase. But, so but, what will the Biden the administration do? We keep hearing about executive action. What does that mean, Madam Vice President? What it means is that we need to take action, but, but Gail, let's be clear about this. There is the piece about executive action, but if we pass legislation, it's permanent. If, we, if, we, if the Congress acts, then it becomes law. And that is what we have lacked. That is what has been missing. We need universal background checks. You know, various states have done it, but there's no universal approach to this. And so what ends up happening, people can move from one state to another depending on what the law yeah. is. We yeah. need to have a federal standard, and that is going to be accomplished by the way we have structured our democracy when the United States Congress acts. The House has acted. Now it's in the hands of the Senate, but Madam and the Vice President is prepared to sign it. But, Madam Vice President, as it stands right now, you do not have the votes. Failing that, is the President prepared to take executive action? We should first expect the United States Congress to act. I'm not willing to give up on what we must do to appeal to the hearts and minds and the reason of the members of the United States Senate. I served in that body, and I believe that it is possible, it has to be possible, that people agree that these slaughters have to stop. And this is, again, you reject the false choice and stop pushing it for sure. Stop pushing the false choice mm -hmm. that this means everybody's trying to come after your guns. That is not what yeah. we're talking about. Yeah. And most reasonable, most reasonable people get that. Ted Cruz said something interesting yesterday. He called this conversation ridiculous theater, that the gun laws that are being proposed, the changes, would have done nothing to stop those shootings. Does he have a point? Is this a uniquely American failure? Does he have a point? Well, the, the, this is what every time there is a slaughter, a mass shooting, someone who does not want to be accountable for what we need to do says, well, that wouldn't have prevented this thing. You know, arguably, if you took that approach to any law, you would argue that we shouldn't pass any laws that are designed to protect the health and well-being of the American people. 
Um, so listen, yet again we have a situation where there are seven children who have lost their father, yeah. where there are families in, in, in two big states of our country who are mourning the loss forever will be without their family members, their friends who were innocent, who were going about right. their lives and were gunned down. And, but, you know, but guys, I, I want to be, again, I'm going to start but, with where, I, I, where had, I started, which is I thought Sandy Hook would be right, but the it thing didn't. that compelled everyone, but and it didn't. I agree with and you, it but, it, but it didn't. And, and my question is, how do you change minds in the Senate? You were in the Senate. You know. Elections matter. Elections matter. And, you know, there are a, a bunch of folks, Moms Demand Action, a bunch of folks from Gabby Giffords to, to the Brady folks who, who we heard you know, sign Vice up President. and join them. And let's, let's, let's say that we're going to hold our elected people accountable if they're not going to be um, with us on what we need in terms of reasonable gun safety laws. But, Madam Vice President, we heard from the head of Moms Demand Action earlier in the broadcast who said the president has it in his power to do something right now. And the president has said he is prepared to sign legislation. But he can also take executive action. I don't think the president is excluding that. But I, again, I, I, I want to be clear that if we really want something that is going to be lasting, we need to pass legislation. All right. Vice President Harris, stay with us. We want to ask okay. you about your personal reaction to the recent racial attacks and also get your take on the situation unfolding at the border. But first, we're okay. going to take a quick break. Sure.